at the top of this newscast, a powerful 7.4 earthquake has shaken up Taiwan, damaging buildings, including this one where families had to be rescued. Officials there are reporting at least four people have been killed. Joining us tonight is the editor-in-chief of uh, Ketagalan Media. Uh, he is uh, Chiting uh, Ye. Chiting, your news outlet uh, covers stories from Taiwan. What are you hearing from people over there tonight? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so um, it uh, kind of comes as a shock. Uh, it just happened in uh, during morning commute hours. Um, and the the first thing I'm hearing from friends is that uh, this reminded them of a uh, earthquake that happened uh, in 1999, 25 years ago, um, in which uh, more than 2,400 people uh, were killed. Um, you know, so far, um, everybody who's checked in, all the friends and family have checked in and said they're fine. Um, you know, I uh, I think so far, um, you know, it's uh, it, it looks okay, but you know, I'm sure we'll have uh, more. Uh, information coming in as uh, the time progresses. I know there's uh, several major roads that have been closed. There have been landslides that have uh, blocked some uh, routes, uh, particularly on the east side of the island of Taiwan. But in general, do you know, if is power restored? Are the trains running? A lot of that stuff came to a halt right after the earthquake. Uh, yeah, so I think um, for the most part, uh, life in major cities are uh, kind of back to normal. People are cleaning up. Um, there, uh, at least as far as I know, uh, there isn't um, any major damage in the metropolitan areas, and uh, you know all the factories, including semiconductor plants, are, um, you know, for the most part, operational. So Taiwan is no stranger to earthquakes. You know, being in the Ring of Fire, there, uh, the building codes, are, you know, are fortified. All the modern buildings are 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 kind of what constructed to withstand a, a moderate to a large quake. Um, what are you hearing about what's happening to the buildings there? Um, so uh, some of my friends, um, you know, they, they work or live on upper levels. They said um, it was shaking really hard. And, uh, you know, I think everybody who kept saying, you know, they haven't felt anything like this in, in, in their lives, if not, not, you know, recent memory. And, um, you know, so far, I think, um, you know, Taiwan has had a number of, uh, you know, major earthquakes. And so I think every time that's happened, um, people do take these uh, you know, precautions seriously. Tell me about the relationship that uh, the Bay Area has with Taiwan, because I, you're not the only Taiwanese American here. There's, there's a lot. Uh, there's a strong connection between us and, and, and them over there, right? Uh, sure. I mean, um, there are a lot of Taiwanese Americans uh, living in uh, the Bay Area, working in the Bay Area, especially in the tech industry. Obviously, there's a lot of uh, connections between uh, business relations between the tech companies here and the tech companies in Taiwan. Um, you know, and as well, there's a number of uh, sister city relationships between cities in the Bay Area and cities in Taiwan as well. So you know, I think there's a lot of people in the Bay Area tonight that's uh, keeping a close eye on what's going on in Taiwan tonight. So one of our coworkers has family uh, in Taiwan. Um, for our viewers tonight who have relatives or who have a, a deep connection, how can they find out the most current information if the phone lines are challenged? Obviously, you're a, you're a great source of information, but who can they contact? Um, I think right now, uh, news outlets in Taiwan, um, they, they do a very good job of uh, um, up to date and up to the minute uh, updates on uh, information and there's a, a very strong obviously uh, online communities as well that people are kind of plugged into so um, you know I think it's uh, not going to be too hard to find information coming from Taiwan. Okay and certainly we're hearing about aftershocks so this is not uh, nearly over. Um, thank you so much for joining us tonight uh, the editor-in-chief of Ketagalan Media uh, Chia Ting Yay. Have a good evening, Thank sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.